Continuing on the topic of enabling, we need to talk about this video that A Breezy just made about Fousey because it's a prime example about how you might be enabling the people in your life. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you to improve your mental health. So sometimes what I like to do is pull from different things going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to take these lessons and teach you what you can do to improve your life. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure that you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I've been meaning to make some videos about Fousey, um, AKA Fousey Tube, um, because, you know, ever since July 15th and that fiasco, there's a lot of talk about him going through a manic episode and things like that. Um, what I will say is make sure you go check out my friend Kay's channel. Her YouTube channel is Bipolar Pug. I will link it down in the description below. She did an incredible video about is Fousey going through a manic episode? And she taught me a lot, and she's also done some guest videos on my channel. So go check that out. Eventually, I might make some videos about Fousey possibly going through a manic episode and things like that, but more so just where he's at and how he needs to earn forgiveness and trust from his audience, all right? But anyway, so A Breezy just made a video and A Breezy is a, a friend of Fousey. And YouTube's great, YouTube's, okay. There's a lot of gripes about the algorithm, but like YouTube, you got me. Like you know what I'm watching, what I'm paying attention to, and it just, recommended this video to me. So I'm like, okay, because something that I've been talking about, when we see what's going on in the community and you see people screwing up or messing up or going through a difficult time, we have to ask ourselves like, who are they surrounding themselves with? Are they being enabled? And one thing that you should never do is enable somebody who is going through a manic episode, all right? And this is a great example of it. Um, I just watched A Breezy's video. So, you can go check it out. I will put a link down in the description below. It's about 20 minutes long and it's titled What You Need to Know About Fousey Tube. So I'm I'm like, I, I've never heard of this A Breezy guy. I barely know anything about Fousey Tube. But like I go into it and I'm wondering like what he's gonna talk about, like, you know, Fousey's possible mania and things like that. He only touches on it at the very beginning and at the very end of the video, okay? Basically, the whole video is about his relationship with Fousey Tube. And this is really, really such a great example of how we can fall into enabling somebody without even realizing it. So one of the things that he says is this. I think they're drawing all these conclusions about how Yusuf is crazy and how, you know, he's mental and all this kind of stuff just off the information that they've been given. I don't think it's true. I genuinely believe Yusuf is not crazy. I believe that what you guys call mental and what you guys call crazy, I see as passion. All right, all right. So first thing, when we're talking about mental health, we gotta understand that, you know, during these, especially manic phases, during these phases, you will be passionate. You will be extremely passionate about it. Let me give you an example about passion, okay? I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, all right? My entire life revolved around getting drugs, using drugs, drinking alcohol, getting alcohol, right? I was very passionate about it. Does that mean that it's right? Does that mean that it's correct? No, so we can't say that these two things can't be independent. You can be passionate and you could be having mental health problems. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that it's one or the other. It can be both because when we're dealing with chemical imbalances in our brain, it can make us very passionate about certain things. You know what I'm saying? And what, what happens with mania specifically is these heightened feelings of like being grandiose and powerful and can do anything and accomplish anything and things like that. And those of you who didn't know, Fousey has uh, suspended all of his social media from his YouTube channel to his Instagram, his Twitter, all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna talk about that in another video. So one of the things that he did was he set himself up for failure and now he's off all this stuff. And hopefully he's getting some help or he's reassessing, you know, whatever it is. Like, I, I hope at the end of the day, like you guys realize like, I, I just want people to get help, you know? But it's very hard for someone to get help when the people closest to this person is enabling them. So basically the, the big chunk of the A Breezy video is how he met Fousey Tube, what was going on in his life. So long story short, a Breezy was going through a difficult time in his life. He talks about getting bullied in high school, not knowing what to do, dropping out of college. That's when he met uh, Fousey. And, you know, Fousey has been there for him like a brother and done everything for him. That's awesome. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. 
Fousey seems like a great guy. And I, and I know Fousey's intentions are pure, and I appreciate that about him, but until he gets his mental health reined in, he's going to, well, let's say this, he's not going to be able to help people in the way that he wants to help people, okay? But what we're seeing with A Breezy is, the closer you are to somebody who is dealing with this stuff, especially if they have helped you, you get blinded by things. I'm gonna forever be in debt to Yusuf, right? He, he changed my life. Right, he pulled me out of a really dark place. He, he motivated me into changing my life. So, it looks like A Breezy is, he's defending Fousey and saying he's a good guy, he's not a bad guy. I don't believe that Fousey's a bad guy. But, what's happening is, is that it's blinding A Breezy to the clear, clear mental health issues that Fousey is having, okay? And when it comes to bipolar disorder, there are amazing ups, amazing ups, but extreme lows, all right? A lot of people with bipolar disorder actually say they, they wouldn't get rid of it if they could because they they love the highs, they love those things. And um, bipolar pug, uh, Kay, she actually explained to me, I didn't even know this, manic episodes can last for months. I thought it was like maybe a day or two, like this is why I'm still educating myself about it. But like, what what's the solution, what's the solution? Like because this dude, A Breezy, loves Fousey like a brother, he needs, to, he needs to be the one to tell him like, yo dude, you need to get some help. You need to get some help. But what happens is, and I struggled with this a lot too, like I, I, I struggled a lot with my, my mental health, obviously that's why I make this channel, and people were there for me, okay? People paid my bills, people let me have a place to live, people were there for me, right? But then those people would screw up and I'd be afraid to say something to them because I felt so indebted to them, you know? And, and part of it is, my brain told me that I'm less than this person because they supported me so much, so who am I to tell them anything that they knew, need to do to fix their lives. You might experience this if you're the son or daughter of somebody who has mental health issues, right? How are you supposed to tell a parent, the person who raised you, what to do or how to get help? You see what I mean? So part of this is, is even though, you know, I don't think, you know, Fousey impresses his power upon A Breezy, I think Fousey's a good friend to him, but I think without A Breezy even realizing it, he feels less than, okay? So his only role in that relationship when it comes to what the public is saying about Fousey is just strictly defending him. That's it, that's it. Like, I really wanted to watch this video. I was curious, I was curious to see if he mentioned, you know, I told Fousey that he should get help. I told Fousey it was a bad idea to get off his medications. I told Fousey that he's not a doctor and he shouldn't stop taking his medications. I told Fousey that I'm not a doctor and I shouldn't be the one to tell him to stop taking his medications. You know what I mean? Like there's so many things that I expected A Breezy to say but you can see throughout that video that he feels so indebted to this guy, to Fousey, that he doesn't think that, you know, he, he has the right to tell him to get help, right? And again, I make these videos to help you. Like, are you enabling somebody because you're afraid to tell them that they need to get help? Are you blinded by the fact that they've helped you in the past, right? Um, because this is a big issue because because somebody has helped us so much in the past, the best way that we can be a friend to that person is to return that favor. It's kind of like when your parents like raise you and then they get like super old and they're like on their little like walker and stuff like that. Now it's your turn to be there for them. You see what I mean? But one of the issues is that we, we look at mental health in a different way than physical health. Like if somebody had a walker, we'd help them out, we'd carry their groceries, we'd run errands for them, and things like that. Because we could see that they're physically in pain or physically struggling, right? Not enough people are informed about the mental aspect of this thing. We need to do the same thing when people are mentally struggling. We need to figure out ways that we can help them. You know what I mean? So I really want you to reflect on your own life and see if there's anybody in your own life who you might be enabling because they've just done so much for you and you don't know how to talk to them about it. Or like, what you really gotta do is really sit down and get quiet, maybe meditate, maybe journal, do something and say like, ask yourself like, am I blinded? Like, am I not seeing the full picture? Am I 
not seeing that they are struggling or they are screwing up because of my relationship with them, all right? If this is something that you deal with or maybe you just got a pff, aha moment in this video, make sure you leave comments down below. Like, let's talk about this. I, I really think it's cool not cool, but you know, it's cool that there's things going on in the community where I can bring up these topics. Like enabling is such a big problem and it affects your mental health as well as the other person's mental health. So I'm, I'm fortunate and glad that there are things going on in the community where I can help you see what you might be doing in your life. Because once you figure that out, once you spot that problem, you can begin to improve it, all right? But that's all I got for you right now. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos, all right? And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, and we still got some Rewired Soul merch up in the shop. You can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Don't enable anybody today, and I'll see you next time.